general solution for the given system so you're given the system first you need to find a minus lambda i what is a let's call this matrix a and then subtract it with lambda i that gives you this matrix okay and then you are going to find its determinants which gives you this okay so distribute these out simplify them and then set them equal to zero so for lambda i will get lambda equals negative two in positive negative two i distinct in complex eigenvalues okay so since you have three by three matrix you should have three eigenvalues and three eigenvectors corresponding to those eigenvalues now let's take a look at the first case when you have lambda equals negative two plug it into this one that gives you this matrix augmented with zero okay so from the third equation i know that k2 k1 is zero from the first equation i have 4k1 plus 4k2 plus 4k3 equals zero and k1 is zero ignore it then solve for k2 i got negative k3 if i choose k3 1 then k2 is negative 1 then my vector k is 0 negative 1 1 then my vector x1 is vector k times e to the negative 2t as lambda equals negative 2 now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals positive 2i plug it into a minus lambda i that gives you this matrix augmented with 0 again let's see uh, use the second equation I have negative k1 plus negative 2 minus 2i times k2 equals 0 so for k1 I got negative 2 minus 2i times k2 use the third equation I have negative k1 plus negative 2 minus 2i k3 equals 0 so for k1 I got this one okay now if I choose k2 if I choose k2 equals 1 k3 equals 1 that gives me k1 negative 2 minus 2i then my vector k is negative 2 minus 2i 1 in 1 okay now for vector x2 you are going to take the real part of vector k which is negative 2 1 1 multiply by cosine 2t minus the imaginary part of vector k which is negative 2 0 0 multiply by side 2t you can stop here but I can I see that I can simplify it further now so distribute this in and add them together which gives me this matrix now for vector x3 here's a cool here's a cool answer about complex eigenvalues so once you know one answer you can duplicate it and change some of them for a second solution so duplicate this one two things you need to worry about first change the side they need to have opposite side second switch this vector this vector so you have this vector multiplied by cosine for x vector x2 for vector x3 you need to have this vector multiplied by side 2t for vector x2 you have this vector multiplied by side 2t for vector x3 you have this vector multiplied by cosine 2t okay so you just switch those vectors and then simplify if you want then my final answer is going to be in this form vector x equals c1 times vector x1 which is this vector bring this down okay plus c2 times this vector times e to the 0 which is 1 plus c3 times this vector bring this down times e to the 0 which is 0 again okay that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.